Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Japan 360. Japan, a country where the spirit of adventure lies in every corner, waiting to be discovered, and this land of contrasts where ancient traditions coexist with futuristic visions, a group of Americans have found not just a new home, but a life filled with unexpected adventures. Welcome to episode 2 of The Secret Lives of Americans in Japan, Discovering Hidden Adventures. In the heart of the Japanese Alps, far from the bustling cities, Mike, a former IT consultant from Denver, found a calling he never expected, mountaineering. Trading his keyboard for climbing gear, Mike now scales peaks that few have dared to conquer. Mike says, I was drawn to Japan for the culture, but it was the mountains that captivated my soul. Each climb is a journey, not just physically, but spiritually. Up here, it's just you, the mountain, and the silence. Mike's story is one of pushing boundaries of leaving behind the familiar to embrace the unknown. The mountains have taught me patience, resilience, and the beauty of solitude. He reflects in the stillness of these peaks, I have discovered a part of myself I never knew existed. Now let's talk about the island gardener. On the subtropical island of Okinawa, Kate, a former urban planner from San Francisco, has created a haven that blends modern sustainability with ancient wisdom. Her adventure, transforming a barren piece of land into a lush, organic garden inspired by traditional Japanese agriculture. Kat says, I wanted to reconnect with nature in a way that urban life never allowed. Kat says, as she tends to her garden here in Okinawa, I found the perfect place to do that. It's about more than just growing plants, it's about cultivating a deeper understanding of the earth and its cycles. Kate's garden is not just a source of food, but a living testament to her journey of self-discovery and environmental stewardship. This garden is my way of giving back to the land that has given me so much. She reflects it's a small piece of paradise where I can truly be myself. Now let's talk about surfing the unexpected. Japan's coastal waters hold secrets known only to a few. For Jason, a former stockbroker from Miami, the shores of Shikoku offered a new kind of thrill surfing. But this was no ordinary surfing. Jason sought out the legendary typhoon waves, braving the elements for the ultimate ride. Jason says back home surfing was a hobby, something I did on weekends, Jason recounts. But here in Japan, it became an obsession. The typhoon season brings waves that are both terrifying and exhilarating, it's a rush like no other. Jason's journey is a dance with nature's raw power, a test of courage and skill. Every time I paddle out, there is this moment of pure adrenaline. He says it's about challenging myself against the forces of nature and finding peace and the care. Now let's talk about the underground explorer. Tokyo, a city known for its skyscrapers and high-tech wonders, hides another world beneath its surface. For Emily, a history professor from Boston, the real adventure lies in exploring the city's forgotten underground. Armed with a flashlight and a sense of curiosity, she delves into Tokyo's abandoned spaces, uncovering secrets that few have ever seen. Emily says there's a whole other side to Tokyo that most people never experience. Emily says, her voice echoing through the dark tunnels. It's like stepping back in time, exploring places that were once bustling with life but are now eerily silent. Emily's explorations are more than just an adventure. They are a journey into the heart of Tokyo's forgotten history. Each discovery feels like a piece of larger puzzle. She reflects, it's a reminder that even in the most modern cities, the past is never truly gone. Now let's talk about the culinary adventurer. In Osaka, known as Japan's Kitchen, David a chef from New Orleans has embarked on a culinary adventure unlike any other. He is on a quest to master the art of Japanese cuisine, blending traditional techniques with his southern roots to create something truly unique. David says Japanese cuisine is all about balance, flavor, texture and presentation. David explains as he meticulously prepares a dish. But what excites me is finding ways to infuse my own heritage into these traditions, creating a fusion that's both familiar and new. David's journey is a celebration of creativity and culture, 
cooking here has opened my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities. He says, it's about respecting tradition while daring to innovate, about bringing together the best of both worlds on a single plate. Now let's talk about the forest Vispera. In the wilds of Hokkaido, Anna, a wildlife photographer from Seattle, found her ultimate adventure, tracking the elusive Japanese brown bear. For Anna, this was not just about capturing images, but about connecting with nature on a primal level. Anna says there is something incredibly humbling about being in the presence of such a powerful creature. Anna whispers as she crouches quietly in the underbrush, it's not just about the photo, it's about the experience, the connection with the wilderness. Anna's adventure is a journey into the heart of nature, where every moment is a delicate balance between awe and respect. The forest has a language of its own. She says to truly capture it, you have to become part of it, to listen, to observe and to respect its rhythms. From the peaks of the Japanese Alps to the depths of Tokyo's underground, the secret lives of Americans and Japan reveal a world of hidden adventures, each one a story of discovery, courage and transformation. Thank you for joining us on this journey, stay tuned for more extraordinary tales in episode 3. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to uncover more of Japan's secrets.